Yo, what's up everybody? It's your main man here, DJ Ron the Mechanic, back with another video. So in today's video, a, I'm pretty much doing this one here for, uh, it was a person in one of my videos had asked a question about the audio control matrix. And that person wanted to know, how do you hook it up in the car? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go over just some, you know, brief connections and everything. Cause you already know mine is already connected in my car. So I am not pulling anything or loose, but I'm gonna just go over just some of the basic stuff. You know, if you decide to, let's say buy you one and you want to install it in your car, you know? So now the installation is, real simple now I, I will tell you that it's, it's nothing to it i mean basically all you're doing is really you taking the output from your radio running it to the input on the uh matrix plus now the matrix plus it does have three sets of inputs now it have a front rear and even a sub input so hey if you want to let, let's say your radio has all three outputs, you know, front, rear, and sub. Hey, you can run three sets of cables to that matrix plus. So each one will have its own individual signal. Now, one thing I do like about the matrix plus, not only is it a line driver, but on the sub output, you have a base knob. So you can control your bass how you want it. Yes, that's one of my favorite features on there. And it's more stuff to it too, y'all. I mean, on the inside, but you gotta do this though, when the uh, component is disconnected, I mean, no power, nothing, you know, it's going through it and you pretty much uh, probably have to take it out of the car, whatever. And you can actually do some changing up on the inside of it if you want to, but uh if you want to learn more about that now you can go to audio controls website and they give you a good breakdown of the matrix plus you know showing you exactly what you can do with it i mean like you can even change the rca output voltage on there you know what i mean so uh i'm thinking right off the top i know it ships from the factory from them already set in uh the five volt position so hey which is still pretty strong though you know so you have options of uh five what is it, five volts seven volts i think it's seven or seven and a half and ten volts so you you got some options now but before you go further into that though my advice though whatever amplifier model block that you're using whatever a uh, regular four channel amplifier whatever that you're using for your highs and mids and whatever amp amplifier that you're using for your subwoofers check your amplifier specifications to see how much input voltage can your amplifier handle so that way you won't let's say mess up something you know what i'm saying so in other words like my amplifiers they can accept up to uh like six yeah like six volts of input i think on mine so that five volt setting on my matrix plus is fine so i don't have to make no changes at all to it it's perfect it's, it's straight good to go so and hey look without any further ado look i'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all my setup and just go over the basic you know Connections, pretty much it. So let's go. All right, y'all, I am back. So just to give y'all a brief overview, pretty much. So starting off from the top, so you wonder how in the world can I connect the audio control matrix to my audio system? Like I was saying in the beginning, starting off with your radio. You're going to use your RCA outputs. If you have three sets, hey, run all three back there. Uh, if you have two sets, you know, you can always split off the signals, whatever, off the rear, however you want to do it. But 
if you want to use all three, I mean, a hey, run an RCA cable from all three outputs from your radio, your front, your rear, and your sub. So you have options. Now, me, I like my Pioneer radios like this one here. This is a Pioneer Double Den one. It has pretty much everything built in. I'm talking the crossover points, the EQs and everything, uh, the subwoofer outputs. Uh, I mean, I can adjust the levels of frequencies, do all that on here. So mine has the three outputs on there. So using mine for an example, so I can just run three sets of RCA cables from this radio. And we're gonna take it to the rear of the car, wherever you have yours mounted. Now, I know everybody is different on the install, so. All right, so back here, this is my amplifier rack, y'all see? That's my subwoofer amplifier over there. And this right here is my old Rockford Foss gate. Uh, it is a 600.4. And of course, this right here, this scar, that's the 1200, that's the RP 1200.1D. So, and here is my Matrix Plus right here. So just to go over, let me get a good spot right quick. So just to go over the front part, what you see. So basically this right here is a line driver, really. So in other words, let's say your radio has a low voltage output on the RCAs up there. I'm talking like about, uh, let's say two volts, two and a half volts, but you want it, let's say you want your amplifier to put out, you know, a nice strong signal, whatever, you know? So what this does here, it will amplify your input signal coming from your radio and basically strengthen it up, you know, pretty much. So in other words, it will make that signal stronger coming out. But also too now, make sure that your gains are matched too. Now, I mean, even though these are your output levels, but you still want to make sure everything is, is matched up good. You know, that way you're not overdriving anything. You know, so, uh, but on here, you know, you see you have your, your three output levels and right here are your inputs. That's right there, that's your front. This sit right here is your rear. And that right there is your subwoofer output. So you got that. And over here, see you have the LEDs that let you know how much voltage that you're sending out to your amplifiers pretty much. So when they're playing, you're gonna see those meters jump. Like right here, you know, it's starting off with one volt, two volts, then you got up to five volts, then you got maximized. So that means, hey, you maxing out, that means you need to back down, you know? So that's what it looks like, pretty much. I mean, and right here, of course, this is your connections, your remote, your power and your ground. And over here is the uh, remote level for your knob right there. <laughs> so now I would have to be honest with you. I would have to take this cover off just to show you the RCA connections on here. Just to show you how it's connected up. So once again, just to let you know, uh, all, your, all the RCA cables that's coming from the radio it's going to this side right here, going to your inputs. Your fronts right there, your rear, and your subwoofer output. So you got all that going into that. Then from here, you have your outputs, your front, your rear, and your sub. So now depending on your system, I mean, you have all type of options how you want to, uh, let's say, run your audio system. Uh, I mean, let's say, if your radio don't have a crossover on it, and let's say you're using a crossover with this here. So pretty much, you can pretty much, uh, like the way I have mine, I have my RCAs coming, going into my crossover, 
And then the outputs from my crossover is going to the inputs on this right here. And then my outputs on this right here is all going to my amplifiers. That's how I have mine connected. And trust me, with this device here, you would notice the difference in your sound. I'm telling you, it, it's like night and day. I mean, when I say this little device here, it, it wakes your music up, it wakes your music up. Yes, sir, I am telling you. So if you're thinking about getting one, trust me, go ahead and get one. You would be one happy camper, believe me. And let's just say like this, just to put it out there, a lot of people wonder how in the world are my 212s beating the way they beating. Hmm. Gain set right. And this right here. Yes, indeed. This right here makes a whole lot of a difference. Yeah, buddy, I'm telling you. Go ahead and get y'all one of them. So, like I said, that's my whole setup right there. The Matrix Plus, the Rocker Fosgate 600.4, and the Scar Audio RP 1200.1. That's what I'm running, y'all. So that's uh pretty much it. I mean, you know, on the connection part and everything. So uh, now what I will do for y'all, I'm gonna do another video for y'all, really breaking everything down. I mean, taking off the cover and you know disconnecting the rcas from this here and just to give y'all a good sound visual you know of how it actually sounds with it and without it so i would definitely do another video for y'all you know definitely so that way you can kind of like let's say get your decision sit right you know like man i want to get one of those or if you don't so yeah that would pretty much do it so, yep, that is all. I just wanted to just share this with y'all. You know, like I said, I had, uh, had a person in one of my comments, you know, had asked about it. So, yeah, that's all it is. Just run your, like I say, not me. It, like I say, it, it all depends on your audio setup. I mean, everybody's setup is different. You know, if you just run in just a, um, uh, your radio no crossover and your radio has everything built in hey you could just run it like that run all your rcas into this right here and then your output run them directly to your amplifiers you good to go no problem and trust me you will notice the sound difference that's right hey i definitely love mine for sure so that is it, y'all. Just wanted to share that with y'all pretty much. So, yep, go ahead and close the car up. But that's pretty much it. I mean, let me turn this camera around right quick. Okay, so I'm back. So that pretty much sums it up, y'all. I mean, that's pretty much the main purpose of that, that audio control matrix. It basically takes low voltage, pretty much. Like, like I said earlier, if your radio has a low voltage output on your RCA, it's like two volts, two and a half volts, you know, and you want that music to uh, come alive, get that matrix plus. So breaking it down one more, one more again, what it go do, it just simply amplifies your RCA signal coming from your radio and it makes it stronger. And like I said, again, you will notice the difference in your music. <laughs> you gonna be, uh, let's say, sitting in that car a long time listening to that music with that bad boy. Trust me, I love riding all the time. Turn that music on. Man, it makes a world of a difference in there. That's right. So that's it, y'all. Hey, look, this DJ Ron the Mechanic here. Hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that way you won't miss out on a video. That's right. So, yep, yeah, y'all see I got the hood up. 
Got to do a little cleaning under there, you know, after all this weather and stuff, you know, got to get it right. So, hey, that's it. Hey, look, I will check y'all out on the next video. And look, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, get that video together for y'all with the sound quality test showing y'all, like I said before, with it and without the Matrix Plus hooked up. So, all right, I'm going to check y'all out on the next video. I'm out.